Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm stuck with you. <laughs> no, it was exhausting. <laughs> oh. Uh, in the college I work in the lab. Uh, last week they clean all the lab. Uh, we have to get out everything, and we um, and, um uh, how can I say it? Uh, we uh, try to make it better. For because there's uh, uh, some people outside from the college, they come to see our college and uh, our lab. It, it was uh, very very tired work. Okay, it was very tiring. I was tired. So, um, okay, sorry, I'd, I'd muted my mic uh, on the uh, stream, so. Probably everybody yeah, just I, got you talking, not I'm me. I'm tired this second. <laughs> I think I'm tired too, but... So you had... Were they VIPs that were visiting? Were these people you were trying to tidy up for? Were they very important people? So were these people VIPs? The ones you were tidying up for, Sarah, were they VIPs? Do you know what VIP means? Yeah, uh, it's like a uh, special people. Yeah, very important <laughs> person is a VIP, mm. or of course, plural, very important people. So why why were you tidying up for them? Why were you trying to make things look good? Had they got money? Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, not just for money. It's uh, because uh, it's our place. We have to make it look uh, good. We have to yeah, but you, ma you made it sound like you'd done it because they were coming, not because you felt it needed doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we are working every day and uh, we leave everything uh, Miss and uh, on uh, Tuesday we have uh, because here it's uh, Friday it's weekend. Mm -hmm. Yesterday it was the last day for working, and we have to clean everything. Uh, uh, our supervisor will come to see our lab in the night, and it was like <laughs> I have to finish. <laughs> this is my last day to finish my work. <laughs> And the night she will come to see our lab, it's okay or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'll admit, if I knew you were coming to visit me, I'd tidy my desk. <laughs> 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 my desk is, is a bit of a mess today. I had huge... In fact, today's Kitely session had to be semi-cancelled. We ended up just doing a chit-chat session in Kitely because I could not log in. Um, not because of my desk being messy, but I think because I'd forgotten to log off my computer last night. I'm hoping Aladdin will actually come to today's session because when I switched my computer on before the Kitely session, or when I checked it before the Kitely session, it said my CPU was at 100% usage. <laughs> oh. And I, was like, and I was looking at everything that was open and nothing accounted for that. So I don't know what was going on. It was, I think it was Skype personally, but I blame everything on Skype at the moment. But yeah, so, uh, so when you say you're tired, I'm tired too. I've spent the week fixing computer problems the whole week. Joomla problems, CPU problems, logging in problems, problems for other people that aren't my problem really. <laughs> So I'm really looking forward to the weekend. <laughs> and what about um, Aruba? Can you speak? I can see your mic is unmuted, but I can't hear you at the moment.
No. Oh, don't no, don't apologise. If we can't hear you, we can't hear you. That's that's life. Uh, what about Tim? Tim, can we hear you? No. Oscar's here. Oscar, save me. <laughs> Oscar, have you got Mike? Is your mic working? Please say it is. Oh no. It's one of those days. Oscar, Oscar. <laughs> okay, don't forget what we did last time. Go to another server. Yep, that's what always happens. It's your microphone settings. I don't know what you do. Uh, but go to another server. Go to Zom server. Test your mic in another mic room. And then come back. No, it's a two 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 Oscar. Try on another server like last time. And if you've been using Skype in the meantime, I'll bet you it's Skype. <laughs> bet you anything it's Skype. Okay. Wake wake it up. <laughs> wake Zom up. In fact, earlier today I sent Zom a message to at everyone because I thought I was in this server. We were testing something for Monique in Kitely. We think we've got it working for her. And uh, so I tested this at everyone and I didn't realise I was actually in Zom's um, direct messaging Zom. So she's got this really weird message from me, followed by uh, ignore me. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyhow, I hope um, I hope Oscar gets his mic working. Uh, you have okay. You have to open a voice channel there, then come back here. Okay, okay. So two 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 means we can't hear you. One 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 means we can hear you. And if somebody types two one two one, it means uh, you're breaking up. So your voice is breaking. Okay. Hello. 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 Oh. Hey. Woo well done. Oh, thank you. It works. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what. I it don't is. know why either. Nope. That's but it's explained. a miracle. It's a little modern day miracle. <laughs> So you go there, say something, <laughs> and then go, come back, and it is work. It is working. <laughs> yeah, it it does something. It's something to do. Have you been on Skype today? Not 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 no, today. No, okay. Because sometimes I noticed Skype does this to me, but it can't be kindly. Um, it can't be kindly because otherwise it would affect me too. So it's something. There's another program on your computer probably that's taking over your microphone in fact in your mic settings on your hardware um, let me just see if I can get that opened up okay I'll put it on to screen share so if you want to you can have a look in your mic settings under properties you can get advanced and you'll find there's something called allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. I have it ticked. Okay. Okay. And that means that the the app that you're in will have priority uh, to yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, to use it. Okay. Um, uh, I also yeah. disable everything else, like sound effects disabled, noise suppression, acoustic, all of that stuff I have disabled. Um, my levels are quite high, of course, and I make sure that uh, it's set up as my microphone, of course, use this device, enable. I also make sure that other things are kind of switched off, because I find the, the fewer things I have open, yeah. <laughs> the better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you enable, allow this... Uh, device allow applications to take over this device you might find that that helps 
And if you've already got it ticked, untick it and see if that helps. <laughs> yeah. It's the hacking guide to getting things fixed on your computer. Click that, see if it works. Okay, click that, see if that works. <laughs> that didn't work? Yeah. Okay, click something else. <laughs> But it's good. Maybe it will work for Aruba as well. Aruba, are you a member of another server on Discord? Try going there and opening a voice channel and then come back here and see if that also wakes up your computer. Hi, Marco. Hello, hello. Have you got voice? Say yes. Hello, hello. Awesome. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Thank goodness. I've had such a Hi, day. Hi, Marco. I've had Hi, such a everybody. week with computers. It's really nice when it just works. <laughs> Good stuff. So, Oscar, were you able to sleep last night after the reading session? <laughs> or did you have nightmares? No. Yep. Were you okay last night after the reading session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you I, I'm not a squeamish person. No, good, good, good. Guys, I sadly I can't um open up the the video from last night, but we ended up reading a very gruesome piece of text, uh which was quite yeah so like the sort of thing you don't want to go to bed and suddenly get a runny nose, do you? <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, just a piece of the Uh, and in the end, uh, it was a happy ending, you know, so yeah. it was a uh, happy, happy story. Yeah, it was. The ending was nice, positive ending. That's true. That yeah. is true. <laughs> so, Marco, how's life treating you? Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> good. <Yeah. laughs> so what level, what level are you in Vikings now? Uh, palace level 15 I am 15. upgrading wow well mm. done I saw I saw you've got um, click for help going oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm upgrading right now uh, my uh, lumber mill yeah okay cool and finished oracle up to level 15 and uh, shrine of Odin is also up to level 15 so you're your oracle is and which one? Oh, shrine of Odin. Odin. Shrine of Odin. Yeah. Odin. Yeah. Odin. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, good. Good. Yes. Awesome. But uh, yes, and I upgrade. I'm, I'm upgrading also uh, melee uh, defense up to level uh, six, but it is like a last. It lasts very. Uh, very long, so like uh, for uh, uh, it, uh, it still remains few days. How long? To... How long? Mm, just a second. <laughs> no, how long was it uh, at the beginning? Can you remember? How long? Uh, no, about one week, I think. So because <laughs> right now is three days and oh, three hours. Oh, just wait, Marco. That's no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, no, got, but I... I've got one running at the moment. I'm chunking into it with bits of gold when we win a competition. 26 weeks. Oh, what is it? Um, it's levels, uh, hero speed level 10. And that hero was, speed? Yeah, hero mm -hmm. speed level 10, yeah. But why did you, like, uh, because of uh, you want something else, because hero speed is... I don't think that it's so. I want to faster. Precious. Hero. I want to faster. Oh, faster! <laughs> Just because of it. Yeah. I, I want to fast him because of uh, hero endurance and. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but eventually, you have to do them yeah. all. That's the thing. You'll get to the point where you can't progress on other things until you've got that. Yeah. So even if you yeah, don't that, want that's it, pity. you've got to get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pity. And then when you get twenty-six weeks, thirty-two weeks. Um, Prize got stuff that's over a hundred weeks. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's not a game that you want to hurry. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, and and what what is like uh, I um, I listen to the price advice and I also um, I'm buying uh, and recruiting uh, just uh, many. Uh, troop once and someone just uh, with uh, I uh, I added a few times more. Uh, 
uh, just uh, melee or, or melee warriors uh, troop uh, troop level three and uh, troop level two, just uh, also a shield Ooh, mate. And all. You're going to be out hitting people anytime now. So Oscar, when we're talking about it's confusing, yeah. you know, when we're talking about palace levels, we're talking about Vikings. Okay, so I don't know what rank. Uh, if you do ranks, okay, that'll give you. I think it should. Uh, ah. I type it that in singular. Oh yeah, but I, it did, I thought it gave a link for all of them. But someone typed that for me, and oh, okay. my rank appeared. Oh, okay, but you typed it, Oscar. You typed yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've got you. Rank at Oscar. Thank you, Zen. I didn't need oh. to do that either. So let's do rank at Zen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. You're both okay. Level, level seven. I'm level 26. Should we do Zom? I don't think it's a good idea, but... No, no, that's not good idea. No. <laughs> Level 32. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there you go. So, o Oscar, the ask, of... it, ask it for What's the... the meaning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, because you ask it for the uh, uneasy game, Oscar and Lynn. Do you think that Vikings are easy game? Maybe it's good is, for recommendation. Is Vikings an easy game? I'd say yes. Oh, yeah. It depends what you're looking for. If you want um, something that I think is very simple to play once you've figured out the rules, I think Vikings is it. It depends what, what you mean by easy, Oscar. What's an easy game to you? Okay, no, uh, it doesn't take long to understand how it works and I can improve quickly my level. Okay, well, that's okay. What happens with Vikings? Okay, um, there are a lot of rules, but the first rules are very simple. So, when you first join, it is improve your level, and that's pretty quick. However, it gets more complex as you continue playing it. And a lot of people give up at around level 21 because they realize it's, it's not a sort of shooting game, it's not like. Um, it's not a game of skill, it's more a game of strategy and good communication. That's why I recommend it on the forum, because you have to communicate, don't you, Marco? You have to ask people for help, ask for resources. Yeah. <laughs> I'm asking <Yeah>. too much. <laughs> no, so. you're not, because you're growing. But, you're growing. Yeah. The time it'll get too so, much is when you want 100 million silver, 100 million food. Then you're going to have to have your own resources, your own deals going on etc but at, at your level you're absolutely and i noticed you ascending resources as well because remember once you're once you've create once you've um made as much food or whatever as you can it won't make any more so if you don't need it then and there yeah, yeah send it to the bank or send it to somebody else because it won't make any you're not losing anything one it's not real okay it's not real <laughs> <laughs> so, but some, no, but some people are daft. They, they get resources. And there was one bloke who got burnt, by the way. He had over a billion silver in his vault. A billion. A, a billion in vault, but yeah. he, uh, he kept it. Uh, he because, kept it. And yeah. he, the thing is, if he'd got rid of most of it, he'd have helped the clan and he'd have been creating more. Because once your vault's full, your farms stop producing so be vikings were very generous when they had stuff they shared it so share it get it out there keep clearing it out so that you can keep making more hi aladdin yeah. i'm so glad you're here aladdin yay hello Lynn. how are you i'm fine hi you. everyone hi i've got hi. a question for you okay. why Today, when I was trying to log into Kitely, did my because I couldn't log into anything and nothing would close or open. Everything was unresponsive. Skype was unresponsive. Mm -hmm. And when I checked um, what my what was running on my computer, it said my CPU was running at a hundred percent. Why? Why? Hundred percent. One hundred percent. Any ideas? I mean, I, I shut everything down. I shut my router down. Mm -hmm. I shut my computer down. I rebooted everything. It took me about 20 minutes all in all. 
Um, mm -hmm. So we ended up having a chit chat session because there was just no way I could run the session properly. Mm -hmm. And uh, but yeah, when I was looking into, oh God, what's going on? What's going on? Why can't Is I there something in? running on background or? Well, no, because I looked and it said CPU 100% and this all in pink because it was like, oh, that's high. Mm -hmm. But when I I mean, I can do math at that level. And when I looked at what was actually running, it did not add up to 100%. So I have no yes, idea. But, but you can know which applications or which um, things running on your computer and taking all those resources. But it didn't show anything that was taken no, all that. You can, uh, you, you're trying this task manager and see what's pursued. Yeah, that's what uh, I was looking at. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. It just said CPU Nothing have... mm -hmm. pink, lovely pink color, CPU 100. And then when I mm -hmm. looked at each task and background tasks and apps and da da da. But the thing, the graph was right at the top. But the actual percentages of each thing didn't add up to 100. It was weird. It was like something had, I don't know, blocked, got blocked on my computer. And the only thing that cleared it was me logging every account out and then... Uh, resetting my router and then logging back in, everything back in it was a real and i thought oh i wonder if aladdin will be here and he'll have some bright <laughs> idea about what was going on I, I mean i was thinking you know am i being attacked or something <laughs> is someone attacking me yeah. um, did you check the updating or anything else oh like... everything's updated Not online sure. yeah it's all oh. updated the only thing that i did do uh, that was different was i'd left it on overnight I normally I switch my computer off at night, but for, I, I was running a update on Joomla, and so I left it mm -hmm. running overnight. That's the only thing I can think it might. And Skype, Skype, Skype had logged Skype, itself. Skype, I know Skype. 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 Did you see what they wrote in the Skype group? No. Oh, it's it's begun to affect other people. They were saying <laughs> that they're, they're having problems setting up calls in LENSC. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I just said, mm -hmm. I did say to them, well, <laughs> I, did, I did say come to Discord. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It's a better place. Hey, yeah. Amatsu's here. Hey, great. Hello, Amatsu. <laughs> yeah, she's not here, though. Uh, come to the TGIF voice room. room yeah. <laughs> Uh, she's saying, I'm here. No, you're not. You're there. <laughs> We're here. You're not here. <laughs> She'll probably need me to set breadcrumbs. I'll, I'll send an Atamatsu. Hang on. Uh, oh, she's got an account. Atamatsu. We are chatting here. Okay, Oscar, you're going to come and be a Viking. Awesome. Okay, I'll try. Yay! I'll have a look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let me give you a couple of tips, Oscar. When you first join, you'll be dumped in, an, a, in a kingdom. Just stay there until you reach level five. Okay? Level five, yeah. okay. Don't go on beyond level five. And don't go to but any he... other kingdoms. Okay, you get to relocate. But he can. But he could. Uh, uh, does, uh, does he... He have immediately uh, great, not great, but novi uh, how it's called? Novice. No, uh, novice. novice uh, yeah. no, no, not novice. He could uh, join. <laughs> no, okay, novice. No, no, no. don't do that. Novice. <laughs> novice. Uh, and, no. uh, and he can he can come to uh, to my uh, former clan. Th that's good environment for beginners, uh, and it's not closed. Okay. And he can Might uh, come I to suggest... my place. Might mm -hmm. I suggest not doing that okay. because their advice is kill, kill everything, kill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, what, what you can do, because you get a shield for the first few days you're there. Um, but yes, you can come over to the kingdom whenever you want to. Uh, but you only get to choose a kingdom once. So choose carefully. OK, um, we're in a kingdom called Frat Harven. I think that's right. Sorry? Isn't it? Frat Haven. I call it Fart Haven. <laughs> okay, yeah. But it's Frat Haven. Okay. <laughs> yes, I mean, that's where Zom is, Amatsu is, I am, uh, and Marco is. Uh, and I think Sarah as well. Um, 
and soup but soup's busy at the moment so he's not playing at the moment but um that's the kingdom but you can join any clan you could join zom's clan which is a spanish-speaking clan and then you can move clan once you're in a king but you can only move kingdom once so choose wisely okay and you will not be able to move again honestly not even if you beg them on your on bended knee they will not move you so you get one kingdom not choice. It, even with no uh, with money he can't no uh, you can't buy oh, a novice yeah. relocation it's called novice relocation <laughs> and you get <clears throat> one and you can't buy them okay there's things like great re relocation and relocation relocation will move you within a kingdom great relocation will allow you to go to another kingdom to fight but only whilst the battle is going you cannot move again that's it hi amatsu hi hi shields up i hope your shields up hello <laughs> hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hey, hello amatsu how are you hi. how are you doing <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. You're Glad welcome. I've been able to make it. <laughs> well, I did laugh when you sent me a message saying, hey, I made it. I thought, you're not in the room. You've not no, made it yet. It took, me, it took me a while to work out where to go as usual. But that's fine. That's okay. You did it. That's the main thing. Did. You did yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So, is everybody okay? Yes, everybody okay. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. And you. <laughs> I still haven't worked out how to tell who's speaking. Uh, a little green light mm. appears around the avatar. So if you look oh, at my avatar. On the right hand side. That's it, yeah. You'll see when I'm speaking, I've got a little green circle around me. Everybody's got a little green circle except Som. Som? What are you talking about? Dom is not here. <laughs> <laughs> <Some driving. laughs> okay, what are you looking at? You're probably looking at the right your left, page. Yes, it's in your yeah, left, left side. Yeah. On the left side. Surrounding the avatar, the picture. Ah, oh, yes, got it, right. Yes, so, yeah, okay. can see. Now so guess okay. who is speaking. Aladdin is <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. Because yeah, we've, we've only done a Viking session with you, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah. so it's uh, difficult yeah. when it's, it's different when there's a group. Yes. Yeah. So um, who That's here fine. doesn't know Amatsu? I know Aladdin, you've spoken to Amatsu before. Marco, you know Amatsu. Um, Oscar, have you ever met Amatsu? Uh, not really. Oh, okay, great. Then... Uh, Ask us some questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> okay. Okay. First of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, uh, Matsu, nice to meet you. My name is Oscar. I'm from Madrid and uh, where I work as a teacher. Ah, right. We have that in common then, Oscar. I used to be a teacher. What age do you teach? Secondary school. Secondary. I was I was what we call primary. Um, so I taught the littlies, five and six year olds, for a few years. Where? Uh, uh, in England. Right. Yeah. I've been there several times visiting some schools, so I know your system very ah, well. Ah, right. Good. Well, such as it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Lots, lots to, um, what's the polite way of putting it? Lots to Could potentially do better. go wrong. <laughs> oh, <Yes. okay>. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully it won't. Um, I don't know anything about your, your schooling system um, in Spain. Is it, does it have a good reputation? Is it, do you enjoy teaching? Well, um, uh, let's say the teachers, the staff working here, the image is and going up, it's, uh, it's improving, but uh, nowadays there is not good or good enough reputation. We are doing well, um, mm -hmm. changing, uh, uh, changes or uh, things are changing, and well, I hope in not many more years we are uh, we improve our reputation, so 
population see us in a different way. Uh, the government has made a lot of damage to our image uh, in recent years, in past recent years. And now, as everybody knows, and uh, maybe you know, there have been some problems with these politicians. Now, truth is arising and they know or everybody knows that we couldn't, we shouldn't have trust them mm -hmm. and the image is not as bad as they try to to draw from us, okay? Yeah. So I think change, uh, changes are in, in progress, are being made, are in progress right now and well, this is about our image, the reputation of teachers, about the school system, educational system, we are doing it very well. Um, indeed, in Madrid there is a bilingual program. I'm taking part uh, in is a pioneer system in Spain. And I think this is working very well. Uh, students are improving very fast the um, English level. And in general in Spain, we are improving, we are doing it well. Uh, regarding to uh, English language, in, uh, languages in general. Right. I do. I do think that um, politicians should be banned from all areas of education. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> could could no, we just, could I, we just I, leave I, it to politicians yeah, should be banned? Yeah. <laughs> well, that would not work. But yes. Yes, I think at the moment in this day and age, yes, I think that's a very good idea. <laughs> I can give you a couple of examples here. Uh, I I could tell you that uh, I'm right back from Canada, uh, taking part on a training course for teachers to look or listen, uh, learn from their system. And there are two very important differences in the Canada Canadian system and the Spanish system. The first one is that there are teachers involved in changes in education, while here in Spain they are politicians with no idea what's going on in the class. The second cha change or difference is uh, in uh, the big change they started 20 years ago, more or less, in Canada, they invested, they hired a lot of teachers to reduce the ratio in the classroom, ratio teacher-students, okay? On the other hand here, they are doing exactly the opposite. We have more students, less teachers. So what can we learn from there if we cannot put that into practice here in Spain? So you see? Yeah, I, I, I quote a very um, infamous person called Chris Woodhead, who was, I think, either the first or the second head of what we call Ofsted here, which is a, a government inspection service, put service in inverted commas. Um, and he said, to quote, a good teacher can teach 60 children in a bus stop. Yeah, yeah. And that's a outside, quote. Outside, out at school, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bonkers, uh, bonkers. Anyway, it's it's um, it's very interesting how, I you know, I remember what you're now going through happening with us. Um, the, the numbers in the class, you had five and six-year-old children with nearly sort of 38 to 40 in a class which is, is just bonkers. But um, anyway, how, Lynn, can you remember how many children were in uh, your class at, at primary school? Because I know we had about 40 when I was in primary school. It was quite large mm. and unruly. Um, but yeah, I'd say 30 plus. Yeah. But we didn't do anything formal. I mean, it was play, play learning, really. Oh, we were sat at desks for the whole time. <laughs> yeah, at yeah. junior school, yeah. yes, but at primary school, yeah. from what I can remember, it was mostly... You mean infant, infant school? Infant school, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, 
Uh, but yeah. yes, it was primary school. Like I can't remember any formal learning beyond sitting yeah. and reading, yeah. listening to somebody read, and painting. Lots of painting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I I got I. I basically started to hate education at secondary level. Sorry, Oscar. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that's that's fine. But uh, I mean that mm, what I see is that uh, there is no support behind us. So they are not helping us. They are pushing us. So they are not helping us to to improve. And in the end, they want to increase. Uh, no, to improve our rank in the PISA. A report, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, the, the, the ranking is, it's a European what's ranking called? system, PISA. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it. Worldwide. worldwide, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's worldwide, is it? Okay, it's just they're, they're mad about it in Germany, they're always going on about which uh state has got the best PISA ran rankings. I had a class of about 35 adults at Further Education College when I was teaching out in the real world. I had a class and they were mixed ability learning English. That was crazy. That was mad. I had to make the better students teachers, basically. Um, just split them out between groups in the classroom because we had from, not be, not complete beginners, but from what I would call beginners to um, to advanced. And that, that was crazy. That was down to money, I'm afraid. It was down to money. I don't think so. Maybe there's probably some kind of ASCII code for it, or if you've got a mathematical keyboard, maybe, uh, Marco. But, uh, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Greater than or equals to, uh, I haven't seen on a key, not even in Germany, and you know the Germans love their technology. <laughs> if you want to know a little bit about Chris Woodhead, by the way, there's a reasonably... Um, accurate article believe it or not on the telegraph but uh yeah it, it's about he's he's no longer with us though you know that don't you karen yes yeah, yes yeah. his his karma caught up with him <laughs> as it does us all <laughs> uh, no i think his karma catching up with him would have been been him having to go back to, into education of some sort but anyway yes he wouldn't have survived two minutes no exactly <laughs> So, um, what's your, what's anybody else's education system like? Is it good, would you say, or is it a bit crazy? Like it sounds, the Spanish one and the British one definitely is. Aladdin, how's it in your country? What, what are the classroom sizes? Yes. Mm. What's it like in <laughs> your country? Is it? Do you have huge classrooms as well? Yes. But it's I'm I'm not it's complicated here. It's uh, it's not good at all. So um, most of educational system here is uh, is in a mess. Also. Oh dear. <laughs> 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 okay, and Marco. Even if it's, even if it was uh, this part of it's, it's divided with some some sort of uh, educated they belong to. Uh, a governor and some sort of it. It's, it's a private, and you can. Uh, uh, so y y it's 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 a private like it's. Uh, it's those things. It's uh, in working on units and working on uh, some sort of systems, not a normal system. So, but all of them are the same. <laughs> Oh gosh! That's not good. It's a, yes, it's divided into national uh, schools or international schools or whatever it was. But I think the at finally everything is uh, is the same. Okay. Uh, Zen's just put minimum is about 50 students. Wow. I mean, we had that at university. Um, <laughs> the lecture halls were packed, rammed. I mean, you were lucky if you got a seat in the lecture halls, but not, not for secondary or junior school. No, this is just... I mean, small is beautiful, guys. <laughs> but of course, well, this is all redundant, Oscar. You realise that, don't you? Because in the future, we will be redundant. We will be replaced by robots. We'll be the robot assistants. 
it would be interesting to compare but just primary with primary and secondary with secondary different countries i mean well the, the problem is that you know in a way where i don't know where we experiment with whole generations don't we when we change yeah. the education system and um yeah but yes the the future they're saying it will be online virtual and taught by robots <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying next year, but certainly in the next 10 years. There's, there is a school in America that's but, already only teaching through augmented reality with AI, with artificial intelligence. And the AI develops a learning package for each individual student. The augmented reality runs the lessons for them and the teachers are only there as the human contact for the students. That's it. But th th there's already a lot of uh, virtual education uh, nowadays. Yeah. Uh, you can up uh, upload many things to to share with your students, and there they can uh, respond. They can do something. Uh, they they are given uh, feedback. So uh, there are we could we could call it robotic education mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. In a way, maybe. Yeah. I but think so. under, under the robot, under this IA, there is always a brain. There is always a person. For now. <laughs> yeah. For, for now, now and forever. Trust well, me. forever if we do things right. Uh, but if we really mess up, my my worry about that kind of learning is that eventually um, it's a bit like designing cars to be the fastest, the best, the most aerodynamic, the most fuel efficient. And eventually cars start to look more and more similar. And I think if we go this way, education will start to look more and more similar until everybody's being taught the same thing. And I think that's dangerous because if everybody's taught the is. same thing, everybody starts believing that truth, nothing else. No, I don't like that idea at all. So imagine the humans. <laughs> ima imagine a, a teaching robot uh, programmed by Trump. Ah, exactly. Say his name, <laughs> but you know. Oh. Uh, I was telling Monique and Shiny today, um, I have Google Assistant on my phone because it sends me stuff I'm interested in. Uh, and it's quite good. It, it's not, it's not a, it's push technology, but it's not spammy. Okay, so it does send me stuff. But what it, how it does it is awful because it sends me little messages attached to a news article and that message will say, because of your interest in Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Not because you can't stand Trump, <laughs> but yeah. because I of think, your interest I think, in. <laughs> I think they've got it all the wrong way round. So I think whatever you press like on, they should send you one thing similar and one thing totally opposite. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm just replying to Zen here. Because Zen has said you can buy artificial robots, AI, for about 500 to 10,000 plus Zen. But honestly, if it can't make me a cup of tea, I'm not interested. They were, pro they were showing this fantastic new all singing, all dancing robot the other day. Uh, and they, they were asking comments and I went, because it's got very realistic hand movements and they had it moving its fingers individually something I've been able to do since I was born but anyway it's like ooh, it's so clever and I went well yeah very clever but you missed one opportunity with the finger movements I won't tell you what that would have been and I said now now shut up and go make Naughty. me a cup of tea <laughs> go on can it make me a cup of tea can it do the hoovering and the washing up and the ironing zen I'm not interested in dancing robots. I'm not interested in robots that can, I don't know, um, do one thing. I want a multifunctional butler robot. Then I'll be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him Jeeves. <laughs> but it's true. I'm not very demanding. Not at all. I have simple demands. 
I mean, you know, they're, 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 they're cute, these little robots that are being taught to walk up. But at the end of the day, I want them to be practical. A neighbour, not very far away, the other, the other end of the road, I think, they've got a robot's grass cutter, like a lawnmower. But it's useless. It does about, I don't know, one strip of lawn. And then you have to go and empty it. Now, if it can't empty itself, what use is it? Exactly. I know, Zen. I know. I'm only joking. But they're taking the fun stuff away and they're still leaving us with all the drudgery. They should be concentrating on removing the drudgery and letting us have more fun. OK? <laughs> Ooh, who's Sophia, Marco? Uh, you haven't read about... Uh, oh, OK. This is Hanson Robotics. About, no. about her. Her. <laughs> oh, I haven't read if about I it. Could call. <laughs> yeah. About uh, uh, I did. Uh, Can she make I, tea? Uh, I, I I didn't ask. <laughs> 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 I think that it was like. Oh, a, it's one of these creepy like... ones. No, no, it's a creepy one. They're trying to make her look human. It looks uh, like a it... sex toy. I'm sorry. It's horrible. Yuck! I've, I've just the, seen the United them. Nation. They have uh, like when designed when she... to look like Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No that's, uh... way. Mm, that yeah, doesn't that's... look anything like Audrey Hepburn. Her face. <laughs> no, that's that's sixty shades of creepy. Honestly, <laughs> her human likeness, expressiveness, and remarkable story as an awakening robot. Over time, her increasing intelligence and remarkable story will enchant the world or creep us out. Oh, when she smiles, it's horrible. Oh, no, 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 no. But they gi gi uh, gave them uh, all of them no. are uh, no. named uh, <laughs> with the female names. I suppose all that makes them a bit less threatening, maybe. Mm. Yeah, the Arnie robot it, for it's my a movie. trap Terminator. <laughs> yeah it's a trap it is she doesn't have emotions Zen she has programming but then so do we all in some ways we're all programmed as well but uh, I don't like this obsession with making ro have you seen the TV series by the way Humans did you watch it Amatsu yes religiously it very very good wasn't it Yes. I'm hoping they'll do another one. Has anyone else seen it? It's just called Humans and it's about human-like robots becoming conscious. Not me. Oscar? Oh, not me. Not you. Okay. Okay. No? Oh, well, if you get the chance, do. It was a... What channel was it on, Amatsu? BBC or Channel 4? No, I think it was 4. Oh, um, it could be. Time, it's, it's a year ago now, isn't it? So... Well, there's two I series so far. Remember. Okay, well, look it out. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere online. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just do Humans TV series. And it's on IMDb. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, here's a, here's a, um, a TV tra trailer. It's very good. Extremely good, in fact. Highly recommend it. Do you, what do you mean, the trailer or the series? The series. <laughs> but yeah, it's very good. That's. I think that was series one. If you had. The and then we had series two as well. There you go. There you go. Robotic servants. But I'd, I'd still have one, to be honest. <laughs> if it really could do all the housework, I'd be quite happy. <laughs> Once it started uh, showing signs of actual intelligence, so I guess we'd have to re rearrange its contract in some way. But uh... <laughs> Hi, Ali. Nice to see you. Okay, Hi, Amatsu, there was a mate. reason, a special reason you're here. Did you have any chance to... Try it out. Is it working? I haven't had... No, sorry. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Oh, I no, forgot. 
I finished clinic and had some lunch and sat down and fell asleep. So oh, no, I haven't. You. Sorry. Oh. No, that's, no, I thought that's why you were here. I thought, oh, I'm being very rude. I'm not even asking you about if it was working. Okay, no worries. No worries. Okay. I will check it out this evening. Yeah. That, there's no hurry, honestly. In All fact, right. the longer you leave it, the less worried I have to be. Because <laughs> I'm really hoping it will work for you. But, uh, yes, anyway. me too. Me too. <laughs> so, okay. um, Zen, the TV series Humans, yes, it's a TV series. Um, two series so far, but there should be a third. I mean, it left, the second series was ended on a cliffhanger, uh, as they do as they tend to. So I think there will be uh, a human series three, but I don't, let's have a look. Humans series three, question mark. Confirmed by channel um. four, there you are. Um, but no, it won't be ready for, okay, it's meant to start this autumn uh, production, uh, but it's not been set for release until 2018. So it looks like we've got a year to wait for series three. But don't you worry, guys. You've got two series to look forward to. <laughs> okay. I wonder how they manage uh, when it comes to relationships. Ah, that covers that as well. With all the... Um, uh, I, I suppose, yeah. but I wonder. Oh, no, it, how... it does. It goes into that from being um, abused to being uh, completely besotted uh, to teenage angst. It's it's all in there. It's... It's really quite a good series. They, they thought it through very, very carefully about how far do we want to take this technology. I see. Now I understand why you are so scared about the future and AI. 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 Sorry, AI. Oh, no. I'm, not, I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Okay. I just think we have to be very careful. If we are going to create something that's faster, stronger and better than us, uh, we'd better listen, this... create it to yeah. be nicer than us as well <laughs> all this reminds me of uh, in the I, I don't remember in the 90s or whatever an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie at the beginning of the when Terminator. they are setting the, the yeah <laughs> yeah it you can read on you can read on screen a year I, I don't remember 2010 or 2015 and everybody said oh now we are we have passed uh, that year and everything is uh, basically the same with yeah. m a bit more technology but basically the same yes. and it will remain this way in 20 more years well you mean I'm still going to have to make my own tea don't depress well, me <laughs> maybe, maybe okay maybe some improvements <laughs> but will the cars fly as we can see on the movies uh, and many more things uh, I don't think this is happen. That's science well, fiction. Yes. When I when I was at school, Oscar and everybody, um, we didn't even have calculators. So I'm giving my age away a bit here, but never mind. Uh -huh. um, and one of the big things at the beginning of computers that I remember very distinctly was a paperless society. Are we there yet? No, hubby is. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Wait, is there, you see? Sorry, you are, but only if you're willing to give up on paper. Okay, let me put it this way. Hubby's office no longer uses paper in any form. The only time he might use a piece of paper is when he's writing a list of resources he needs for Vikings to leave on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So his office uses no paper. And this is a very technically advanced um, job he does, so and it uses no paper at all. However, so, today I was at the gym. Aren't I a good girl? I was at the uh -huh. gym and um, a woman was talking uh, to, I don't know why, but um, she was just chatting to somebody who was nearby and she was saying, oh no, I can't be doing it with this um, these smartphones. Give me a piece of paper any day. So the, the, the paperless office is here. The humans just haven't caught up with it. <laughs> but what happens when the computers are going to, going to happen at some point? The whole network will die a death. It'll be resurrected, but where's everything then? It's all in the cloud. Yeah. 
<laughs> but where is What's it? Where, where was it? Where was it? Another computer. Uh, where was it yeah. when, when everything was on paper? Remember, remember those. Um, well, they probably still exist. Those till receipts, and the the ink fades over time. Have, you, have any of you ever had that from a till receipt? You go shopping, you get a till receipt. In a year's time, when you're trying to figure out where all your money's gone, you're looking through your bank account, trying to make everything work, and then you pull out this piece of paper from the pile, and there's no nothing it's just a blank piece of paper because the the inks all faded away it's the same thing well if you don't do that for a year it's your own fault but <laughs> <laughs> you know how long it takes me to do the accounts <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, we are a bit obsessed about, you know, oh, but what about when the computers go wrong? Well, they do. What about when it all goes, when it's, you know, wiped? Well, if it is, then we'll have to find another way around it. We're very adaptable. We I mean, the thing that makes me laugh hysterically at least once a week is when I'm in clinic and we're sorting out a next appointment for, for the client and I write it in my paper diary and five minutes later, they're still pressing buttons on their phone to put it into their diary on their phone. Yeah. It takes yeah, me yeah. about two seconds. <laughs> and what if you put it on the wrong page? Never happens. Okay. You're very clever. I don't use a paper diary. No, I do have a paper diary. It's got names and addresses in it. I don't use it at all um, for... Oh, ev everything I do now is pretty much... I am pretty paperless, considering I've got a load of paper on my desk. Um, they're mostly just little <laughs> notes saying... About Vikings. Six million wood, <laughs> ten million yeah. silver. <laughs> I know you well. <laughs> it's getting worse, I tell you. <laughs> I'm now getting messages online from my husband saying, Oh, look at Kingdom Chat. No, I'm working. <laughs> He obviously isn't. <laughs> he's travelling, so he's bored. Yes, I he's know. Bored, I know. So. <laughs> okay, Ali, um, do you want to introduce yourself? Amatsu's here today. I don't think you've met. Uh, nice to. I mean, um, I don't know. Hello, Ali. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm very well. Are you well? Uh, yes, I'm good. I mean, yeah. it looks like the teacher is speaking. <laughs> you, you guys sound so sad. Teacher is what? I mean, like, Lian is, is speaking. I, I was confused that... It, it's <laughs> uh, did you think I was again. talking to myself? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she does do that, you know. <laughs> she does talk to herself. <laughs> Best conversation I ever have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm from Pakistan, and uh, it's been... Around a month, I mean, maybe oh, I'm okay. not really sure, but it's been a month, right? I'm, I'm on this forum. Lovely. And, um, the teacher, the lean, was um, very helpful. She say. certainly is. She is definitely. Yeah. She helped me how to use Guidely <laughs> Discord. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but actually, I'd like to just point out something here, Ali. Um, uh -huh. Do you know why you consider that I've been helpful? Because you ask. So many people sit around waiting for me to tell them what to do. I'm not going to do that. But you came along and you went, right, I want to do this, I want to do that, and then I can help you. So if anybody's watching this going, she's never helped me, uh, please think about just asking. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll do my part. <laughs> oh, good. oh, my goodness. Oscar, how did you remember the guy's name? That is amazing. Sorry, guys. Come if you on. Went... I don't remember. I just uh, typed that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's just, so if I checked it, it would be rubbish, would it? Good. You make me feel better now. Thank you. It's absolutely <laughs> wrong, for sure. But uh, maybe you think that's okay. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, it looks right to me. It's, it's more than I can remember, I'll tell you. <laughs> exactly, Aruba. Then... I mean, if, I think if 
sometimes people join the... Um, Frank's pointed this out to me, by the way. I think he's back off his holiday this weekend. But anyhow, he's pointed out to me that, you know, we get loads of people who join the network, but very few who actually get involved and get active. And I think a lot of people join and sit and wait for somebody to come and say, hello, come this way, do this, do that, do the other, press that button, da, da, da. And it, the network can't work like that for one thing, but it doesn't work like that the other you know you do have to say I want this and then we will do our best to make sure you get what you ask for and I think also once you've stayed around for long enough you realize how much you can all help each other yes because of the way Lynn set it up um, you know that all this sort of technology is way beyond my comprehension um, but there's lots of ways that you can interact with each other and help each other and I think that's what's so good about the forum and yeah. the network yeah well that was the, that was the whole idea really is not for me to be doing everything but for people to be into yeah just connecting with each other getting to know each other and helping each other with their english the predominant thing and some people get it some people don't but you know say la la that's um, the way of the world Oh, that's nice, Aruba. Yeah, I think April too, and Frank as well, and Paulette as well on the forum. She does an amazing job. She's never been to a session, I don't think, but she just loves the forum. So everybody should be able to find a niche, something that they enjoy and like doing. I don't know why your speaker's not working. I don't know why your mic isn't working. It's not fair. Maybe Aladdin can help you, Aruba. But did you try another server? Did you try to see if it could wake up um, using another server? No, it's not fair. I agree totally. Um, it seems to be the. W I, I don't. What I don't understand, Aruba, is how you can hear us, but we can't hear you. That's the tricky thing. Because to me, if you can hear us, we should be able to hear you. I can't blame your connection for that. But it's good that you can hear us. I guess, you know, at the, as long as you don't mind typing. But it would Aruba, be much better. Have you, have you clicked on the mic? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just being this really, a... <laughs> really basic here. <laughs> this is a long-term problem this has been de weeks basically and Aruba oh, just can't get her mic to work and it's well, very dear. frustrating because most bet. people join and it's like oh wow I can't I can't speak on Skype but this works and with Aruba it's no. yeah, just never heard I think we've heard your voice about three times Aruba and then it stops oh what a shame Ah, Oscar, how are you going to improve your rank by playing? You mean in Vikings? Okay, Oscar, what you need to do is if you look beneath TGIF towards the bottom of the server, you'll see something called Schnack and Stemma under Vikings. There's another category called Vikings, Schnack and Stemma. You can have little Viking chats there with Zom, myself, Marco, Pry, etc. Okay, okay. Because I just sign up, but okay, I enter an email and and whatever, and I don't know how they are going to match. That, that was my question. Okay, well, no, that there's no match up with this server, no. Oh. No, Vikings is uh, run by Plarium. What you need to do is choose a Viking name, and when you're in Vikings, let us know what your Viking name is, what kingdom you're in. And when you join Fratarvan, if you decide to, then let us know. And then we can be in contact with each other in the Vikings game. But no, we're not, you know, it's not part of the Learning Dish Network. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Where? I yeah. wish. Where? That's what I thought. Where but is you've, that? You've, Sorry. Uh, no, I was just going to say to Oscar, and you've had an invitation to uh, the clan that Amatsu is a member of as already, So, but she posted it in the wrong place. <laughs> Amatsu, what were you going to say? Um, yeah, the, you were just talking about the um, schnack or something. Schnack. Where is that? It's Vikings. Uh, under Vikings. 
I can't see Viking. Oh, dear, I'm being really At stupid. At the bottom, so you've got TGIF, yeah? Can you, can you look down? There should be a list yeah. of LEN members only. Oh, yeah. Sessions, challenges, Vikings. Can you see it? No. No, I've got karaoke showdown and pop up English. And okay. then challenges room, Leon League, and your recordings. And under challenges? No, Leon League. Okay. Let's have a look at the permissions. No, oh, you should be able to see it. Nope. No, I can't even uh, type Matsu's uh, to invite her in, okay. in this uh, chat. I, I can see her name among uh, members okay. for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will get in there and see if I've done anything stupid, which is very possible. You've just banned me, haven't you? Yeah. You just don't want me. <laughs> Enemy clan, <laughs> spy. <laughs> <laughs> see, let's but... see if I can do it. So, at Amatsu. And at Oscar. Yeah. Okay, you should get a notification. Let me know if you do. Okay, I will. Okay, so Ali's had a question. Since, since it's, yeah, you have to say TGIF. TGI Friday makes it sound like some kind of um, weird food chain <laughs> TGI Fridays no it's TGIF definitely it is an absolute informal session not a sort of um, let's have a look you're looking for freeware software for quiz making oh okay um, there are quiz makers out there it depends how much um, really how much control you want over your MCQ. By the way, MCQ, those who don't know, is multiple choice questions. Okay. Yes, exactly. Multiple choice questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think. Now, there's, there is a very good piece of software. It's not free, but it's really cheap called Kia. Mm -hmm. um, I say it's not free because it isn't, but it allows you to do all sorts of quiz questions, and it's really cheap. It's... Um, I think it's very good value for money. There are, and it gives you more control over what's, how, what people see, um, mm -hmm. whether you make it public or private, etc. Uh, but there are other ones as well. There's one on Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, which allows you to do it. There is something called Hot Potato, which is free software, but then you'd have mm -hmm. to find somewhere to host it. Um, so if you want okay. something that creates it online and then you share it, you can use mm -hmm. Google Docs uh, if you know a little bit of how to do it in a no, Google but, spreadsheet. But the point is, I'm looking, I'm looking for something like uh, on which I can make ID and passwords of of different students. Like for example, if someone is coming or someone is uh, in the classroom, right? Right. So he can he he is the only one. If I allow him or her Moodle. to attend, the, right? Moodle. If what you want Moodle? it to be classroom based, Moodle. Okay. Free software. Again, uh -huh. you're going to have the issue of hosting, uh, but you can get a free account uh, with Moodle.org uh, that's uh -huh. on their servers that's free, but you'd have to keep it up to date. You have to, and it's very limited on the number of people who can access it. So you won't be able to teach thousands. Uh, you can, of course, teach thousands, but you'd have to have your own servers for that. Okay. But Moodle mm -hmm. has its own quiz making capabilities and you can restrict it by time. You can set um, passwords. You can mm -hmm. set groups with access, individuals with access or just timed access. Okay. Okay. Let me go through it. Then I'll get back to you because you are <laughs> the most resourced person. <laughs> Well, I've been around a long time. Yeah. I mean, you have experienced almost all the all, all the free stuff. <laughs> yep, I'm afraid I have. It's uh, to my to my uh, uh, to my shame. I've tried everything. <laughs> I was I was looking for it for like a couple of days, but then I then it comes to my mind that <laughs> why don't I why ask Lynn? <laughs> exactly. Now that said, as I said. Um, 
even though it's not free, if Moodle mm -hmm. is, because Moodle's quite technical because it does so mm -hmm. much more than mm -hmm. multiple choice. It does all sorts of, uh, it is a full learning management platform. It's a full learning mm -hmm. management system in LMS. Okay. Uh, um, mm -hmm. But you still want that accessed by password, by group, by whatever. I do really recommend Kia, honestly, um, because Kia is so cheap. Uh, I've never found anything quite as cheap as uh, Kia. Kia. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you the link. It's Kia.com. Okay. And if you can just find a little bit of cash, um, mm -hmm. uh, let me see, how much is it? have a look $49 a year okay mm -hmm. per mm -hmm. instructor but that there's no limit to the number of students and you can track okay. student results uh, you can you have access to lots of free materials etc so if mm -hmm. you've got 49 bucks otherwise have a look at Moodle and um, there are other quiz making software out there but the password thing is the issue that restricting it to students and then knowing which student answered which questions etc yeah uh, but Kia also does feedback it's SCORM mm -hmm. compliant I don't know if you know SCORM mm -hmm. it's it's quite yeah it's quite advanced mm -hmm. and, and let me clear it uh, once more uh, like uh, again that what exactly I want to want to do right uh, I'm actually looking for a software either it's it's a uh, uh, real-time or or an offline or FTP or local host based right and uh, that software actually can facilitate me or can help me to uh, conduct entry test right mm -hmm. so uh, i am looking for that kind of software like in which i can uh, assess uh, the english and the maths basic maths and english right and yeah. uh, sort of sort of grading stuff right so i'm not looking for um, i mean lms so, um, lms kind of stuff so here uh, the the only focus is the entry test right so i can like for example if if uh, some uh, any student is coming in right uh, i have allocated uh, an id and password right yep. go to the uh, go to any computer just log in yourself and attempt the paper right yeah so on a spot you'll get the result and we can counsel you yeah right down right there y so, your, your own there's loads out there loads but your only problem is password protected mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hosted and okay. free the free bits <laughs> what's going to trip you up okay moodle okay. will do that for you and there are plugins where you can do some amazing stuff with moodle there's also a free moodle learn moodle course but it's very i warn you it's very involved and you've got the hosting issue the thing mm -hmm. with kia is it does all that and it's it's the whole system um, you, you can have a look uh, and Hot Potatoes as well is also very good and SCORM compliant. Um, do be aware though that there are offerings out there that might sound good but Flash is about to die. So if it's Flash based you might find that nobody can access it in a year or two's time. A lot of places are not allowing, a lot of the um, browsers are stopping Flash anyway. They're blocking it. Um, so do be aware if it's flash based you might want to rethink you want HTML5 or JavaScript hot potatoes is JavaScript Kia is as well uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the other ones are flash based I wouldn't touch them at the moment till they've sorted themselves out to HTML5 okay hot mm -hmm. potatoes yeah it's um, free software that was developed for teachers but again, you're going to have to host it yourself. Um, and it does quiz making, etc. Uh, it's UVIC. It was made at. Here's the, here's the link. It's wonderful. It still works. <laughs> you can download it for free. You can hack it as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a hacker too? <laughs> will no. You help me? <laughs> the, the only hacking I do is when I go, I wonder what will happen if I press that button. <laughs> But yeah, you you can get okay. um, hot potatoes. It's up to Windows 8, uh, but they're mm. no longer actually actively supporting it. So you can get it for Linux as well, um, and mm. it's it works still, and it's very good. Uh, so if you want a DIY thing where you're hosting it on your own web pages, mm -hmm. hot potatoes is great. If you want it all done for you, Key is good but not free. And if you really feel like diving into learning management systems, go to Moodle. 
it's mm -hmm. all open source. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a free site from them where you can play mm -hmm. and practice and um, there's loads of free materials out there as well. And they do free training, um, introductory mm -hmm. training sessions as well. Okay. So for the whole uh, a learning management system, Moodle. Moodle is one of the best it's, software. It was rubbish <laughs> when I first started. If it had been okay. what it is now, everything on Learn English would have been on Moodle. But when I first okay. started, it was horrible. It really was. Uh -huh. It was so clunky and ugly, and I couldn't stand it. But I kept <laughs> an eye on it over the years, and now it's HTML5, responsive, beautiful websites, uh -huh. and you can do so much with it. So if you've got some techie guys as well, um, uh -huh. yeah, Moodle's the way to go. And it's open source. We love open source. <laughs> okay. okay, let me try it. Let me try it. I'm not a software developer. No, Zen, <laughs> I'm not a software developer. I'm a tinkerer. I'm a fiddler. I'm I'm a hacker, as my husband calls me a hacker, because I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> so it takes me 30 times as long to do anything. <laughs> it's a very sad state of affairs. But I like the technology. <laughs> Okay, so. So, can ev everybody see the Vikings now? No? no. I can still in in invite uh, Matsu. Yeah, can't it's see. weird. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I've, also, I've also lost the... Um, um, the oh. chat window for TGIF. I'm I'm in LEN members now. I was just exploring. No, come on, I can't room. get out of it now. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. You're in TGI oh, TG very... TGIF yeah. is a voice room. Okay. Yes. The chat but room have... is the common room. The text chat is in the common room. Ah, got you back. Right, thank you. <laughs> But I can't see Vikings yet either. Okay. Okay, Ali can see Vikings, but he can't enter. Oh, my goodness. You see, I told you I didn't know what I was doing, guys. <laughs> but Ali, okay, Ali tried right to... Okay, when I press this I button. Can, I can see, like, I mean, uh, there are two, uh, what we call it, groups, right? Yeah. Um, Schnack and Stemme. Schnack is chat in Danish. Yeah. Stemme okay. is voice in Danish. But okay, I don't... I can... Yeah, I Zen's in Stemma, right? Yeah. But that, don't like try out. Stemme if that's in voice and you will be alone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want just to talk with yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. So it's Elinet members can read messages and send messages. So that should, oh, well, I'll add, add reactions as well. But yeah, that should be okay. Okay, so let me go out, go back into the Vikings channel. Oh, hang on. Vikings. Nope. <sighs> Oscar's in Stemmer now, so Oscar's found it. Um. Edit category, Vikings, permissions, read text channels, see voice channels, send messages, add reactions. I'll put that in. Yeah, you should be able to. And embed links. Change that. Okay. Awesome. So Ali, you're, you're okay. Marco's okay. Amatsu, where are you? <laughs> Can you see it now, Amatsu? Under challenges, there's another category called Vikings. <coughs> but uh, did you uh, uh, give, uh, did you give uh, like uh, permissions? Maybe you just uh, not banned, but uh, maybe somehow unchecked uh, teachers oh, I don't maybe. even <laughs> well we don't um, want any teachers I'm... in do we <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't like being called a teacher because I'm, I'm, I'm an ex-teacher. <laughs> well, yeah, but I can't have an ex-teacher's group. But I'm, I'm sure you're an Ellie Net member as well. Let me just check. Where are you? Amatsu. Oh, maybe. Oh, you're clever. Marco's clever. Ah, well done, I'd, Marco. I'd banned all the teachers. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've just added you to the Ellie net as well, Amatsu. So you should okay. now be able to magically see Vikings under challenges. No. Oh, yes, there it is. Yay! Yes. <laughs> so Schnack is chat, Stemmer is voice. And guys, if you play the game uh, occasionally at a weekend, ask Marco. We do do um, streaming, um, voice, uh, not screen sharing, uh, if, you, if you're stuck on how to hyper farm, how to set up your hero, how to get gear, etc. So just let us know if you're stuck. Okay, but you have to get stuck first. Uh, um, there's lots of videos on YouTube that will tell you how to play the game from the basics, etc. Uh, and it is a game you need to learn to play yourself because it's your game. You, I'm a bit of a farmer and a bunny. I kind of very scaredy cat. I, I had the perfect target today. But I've got no gear for my hero and I was scared to take it on. So I handed it over to Zubed in our clan. He scored so many points of it. I was very jealous. <laughs> but I, if I'd attacked it, it would have probably wiped me. So I probably made the right call. But I was so tempted just to drop my shield and go in there. If I didn't have prize resources stored in my... Um, in my uh, storehouse I would have probably gone for it <laughs> but yeah Vikings is our official officially adopted Ellie Network game I've never recommended a game before but beyond Second Life and Kitely which are to me not games they're just visual social networking areas but uh, Vikings is well, the only game I've ever recommended <laughs> yeah and when I was over there uh, when I was staying with Lynn about how long ago was it? Four weeks? Five weeks? Oh, about two months. She said is it really? Oh, I gosh. think so, yeah. She said, oh, you must play this game. And I went, no, I don't play games. Not like that. <laughs> and you no, know, I don't want to. Anyway, I am completely hooked. <laughs> oh, it's I wasn't brilliant. quite as bad as that. You told me that your son had bought you a game but you couldn't That's get true. into it. And I but said, well, and you were I telling me get... the kind of game it was. And I thought, well, that sounds very like the sort of game I'm playing. So that's why I didn't go. Well, yeah. I don't go around telling people they need to play Vikings. <laughs> I mean, honestly, people, I don't. Okay, most of my friends yeah. are playing now, but that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing to do with you. Hey, um, James. You know James Amatsu, yeah? Yes, yeah. yes. He's a clan chief. Is he? And he's top of the kingdom. Is he? Yeah, he's a brute. Gracious. He's an absolute brute. Goodness he's a 30. Me. Level 30. Goodness me. I guess stomping around, I squashing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Better not squash me. Um, Lynn, just a quick mm -hmm. question. I've just been having a conversation with Aruba and she doesn't have a Skype ID. Are you still using Skype? I'm not. Uh, no, but, right. Um, okay. Aruba, if you need to contact um, if you want to join Skype, there are sessions on Skype. There's the LEN uh, club, the speaking club that's run by the students. And Natasha is still running sessions on Skype. Oh, right. um, so there are Skype sessions. Just contact me in the forum with your Skype ID. Send me a private message in the forum. OK, if you send it me here, it's liable to get forgotten. But if it's in the forum, I log in, I check. And I make sure I do that there and then. Whereas here, I, I kind of think, oh, I'll do that later. And then I forget. Oh, Kidden's yeah, playing yeah, World of Warships. Wow. I love I love Discord, by the way. It tells me when you're playing games. Ah, <laughs> does it? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you've linked it up to your game. This is a gamers platform, remember. But I don't know oh, if it can be linked up to Plarium yet. Lynn, about this uh, recording, I just uh, with uh, you and Pry, mm -hmm. I I could listen uh, listen to it just uh, on my laptop. I mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, and uh, despite uh, that that I uh, that I added uh, another uh, Gmail account on my mobile I couldn't uh, no. I don't know why your mobile it doesn't work because it's, it's like... another email it's specific to that email if you want me to add yeah that... yeah I, 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 I created uh, uh, when I bought uh, my mobile I created one Google account but uh, after a while I, I added actually one week ago because of this recording uh, I added uh, my regular uh, uh, Gmail account which I'm using uh... we should well just uh, when you okay mm-hmm. so what you do is you go into Chrome on your mobile Make sure that you're logged into Chrome using that G- using the Gmail account you used you sent me from the forum that one. But make make sure you're logged into Chrome on your mobile with that account, and then you should be able to go to YouTube with that account, and you should be able to watch the video. That should work. But you need to be logged into Chrome with the. Oh. But if you want me to add another, just send me the. Um, Send me a private message in the forum with the other email account and I can add that as well. But yeah, it is specific to the email account that I've got for you on the forum that opens the video. Yeah, and I, I, I just added this account, the same account, so you can have... Uh, but you need I to make know. sure you're logged mm-hmm. in to Chrome on it. Okay, okay so they, it's linked with... Uh, yeah, it's, with all, it's all Google. It's all Googled up. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Uh, Okay, okay. No Thanks. worries. No worries. No worries. Okay. Oh, I've been signed out of the forum. I've not I've been remiss. So, um, let's see, I think it's time to start wrapping things up. So as usual, I'll read through the leaderboard from the forum. And this week's top bunny is Flavicius, who's relatively new. So, uh, top of the leaderboard this week with 28 points. Wow, well done. And then in ninth place, Mad Hug. Well done, Mad Hug. And then in eighth, Paulette. In seventh place, even though he's on holiday, Frank. (laughs) And Yunovs. I don't know, with 13 points. Unlucky for some. Zom uh, then follows up with 12 points, followed by Mishu with 11. Dora and Nippo. And Yellowtail are in joint... Ooh, what would that be? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6... Fifth place. Gosh, three of them, all on 10 points. Well done, guys. Nicely done. Now, I had a contact from somebody on Skype. Uh, and this might make me sound really mean. But they take part regularly in Monday uh, session with Natasha. However... Occasionally, I go through the um, active groups on Skype and I check the members. And that particular member hadn't actually uh, logged into the forum since 2016, October, a year. And they hadn't actually posted anything on the forum since 2015. Now, that's not the way the network works as you know you have to be an active member but you have to try to keep your account active as in to interact with things now Natasha every week puts up a topic so that people can discuss what was talked about in the session um, and she puts the link in the session so there's no excuse not to go in and just say something like thank you Natasha or I agree or yes as I said in the whatever it doesn't have to be once every week it can be once a month but you can't leave it for two years and expect to still turn up to the sessions and for me not to notice okay so try to keep your forum accounts in good standing as in log in and say something from time to time (laughs) okay deal or am i being mean insisting on that should i just not do that (laughs) deal good thank you (laughs) Uh. (laughs) okay good oh what's happening with monique Hang on. <laughs> Money, what's she doing? Money only texting here. No, Monique. 
Okay, TGIF is voice. But the rooms are split. One room to text. One room for voice. TGIF is the voice room. Okay, so <laughs> anyhow, Monique's only just got this working on her phone, by the way, so we'll give her a break. <laughs> Any questions before I disappear and uh, go off into the ether? Please have a look at the English magazine. It's been redesigned yet again. Uh, hopefully will be working, but Damatsu, you can let me know um, about whether it's working for the writers yeah, uh, we'll do. Hoping, hope, hope, hope that it will be. But I think yeah. it, I took in, I took on board. Thank you, everybody who gave me feedback on how it should look, and I took on board all your suggestions. Yeah, Ali. Oh, wait till you see Joomla. <laughs> it's called the network for a reason, Ali. Okay, so on the uh, English magazine, that's our weekly, monthly, yearly look at uh, all things networky and English and culture and travel and everything else. Um, if you want to write for the magazine as members, you can. Uh, Bubbly does. She's written short stories and poems. Um, so, you know, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you can contact me on the forum and let me know. OK. <laughs> I'm enjoying the push notifications. <laughs> At least they're not beeping at you. <laughs> okay. Yes, if you want to write anything, you can send it to me on the forum. Let me know on the forum. And then uh, I'll, I'll tell you where to send it. And then I'll edit it. And Frank's written stuff. You'll find some um, articles by Frank about body language on there. Um, poems by Bubbly. You've got still got Amatsu who does all the questions, the interesting questions. I'll look forward to seeing some more when it's working. <laughs> yes, I've got a lot to catch up on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, articles by Margaret, who's uh, also a member of the forum and other people who sometimes contact me and just want to write something for the network, which is nice. So, yeah, it's all there for you guys. You've just got to find it. <laughs> anything well within the rules of the uh, <laughs> network but yeah it's it's much more relaxed than uh, you might think we've got several topics science uh, we've got films we've got ed yeah pretty much anything as long as it's within the rules of the network <laughs> okay one more question can I yes of course okay uh, I have just opened the link, uh, EnglishMagazine.org, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I cannot see the magazine. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I have a lot of questions. Uh, okay. What do you mean you can't see the magazine? Uh, I mean, uh, like, uh, you might have a weekly or monthly magazine, right? Yeah, it's more different articles on different topics. So if you can see English articles, okay, then you'll see language articles, science and technology, culture. And then mm -hmm. you'll see at the top here on the front page, you'll see the news roundup. Mm -hmm. And because it hasn't been working for a few weeks, you'll find news roundup 266, 265, 264, 263. And then you find uh, Hannah wrote something about online English class classes for parents and children. And then Frank's mm -hmm. um, with exercise with a pleasant smile. So it, it's not like a folding page thing. Okay. Okay. I thought. I thought. Uh, for for instance, like, uh, I'll go in a link, right? And there will be the whole magazine sort of stuff. No, you can't do that, sadly. Uh, but what you can do is, when you open up a page, mm -hmm. um, you can then download it as print. You can print mm -hmm. it to a PDF uh, to read offline, and mm -hmm. you can also listen to it being read. Okay. So if you okay. want to, and you can download that reading as well. So if you want mm -hmm. to listen to it, you click on the listen button mm -hmm. and then you can download the MP3. News Roundup. Okay. News okay. Roundup 266. So that, uh, I can see on the, on the front page, it's News Roundup 266, right? That's right. It's the latest one. 
that's the latest one yes and then there are a few more as i say it, it was terribly broken so there's a few more underneath it so that people can catch up but normally you'll find one news roundup and then other articles they'll be the latest articles in that section okay and you'll also find um on the left uh you'll find we've got english in use um mm -hmm. english stories short stories mm -hmm. poetry fun and leisure mm -hmm. recommendations uh english in use you'll find news headlines english mm -hmm. in advertising english quotes okay mm -hmm. so just just explore just explore okay okay, okay. okay. but it's, it's stuff that's about english but not strictly about learning english it's just interesting mm -hmm. things that we come across or that people mm -hmm. write for us uh that we want to share okay okay thank you so much you're welcome you're welcome okay bye aladdin take care have a lovely rest of your weekend. <laughs> Have I missed him? Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll do at Aladdin. That's what happens when I'm concentrating on something else. Bye. Have a nice your weekend. Okay, any other questions before I go, before I disappear? Oscar, I will look forward to hearing what your Viking name is. And if you need any help, as I say, just use discord for that because it's not officially learn english network stuff it's learn english network fun <laughs> so if you use snack stammer if you've got any questions then uh, just let us know okay yeah as marco said <laughs> <laughs> yeah and marco's marco's becoming an expert now as well so <laughs> Oh, I am far away from the expert, but okay. <laughs> but you've learned a lot already, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I learned yeah. a lot. Yeah. Thanks to you and Pride and Zom as well. And Zom, and Zom as well, yeah, absolutely. And if you want to know oh. how to attack somebody, ask Amatsu, because she's the expert on attacks now. <laughs> Since when? I've only ever attacked dead towns. <laughs> More than I've done. <laughs> Although I did, we did try and do an onslaught last night, um, but it didn't work. I don't know why, but it didn't work. So Sometimes people it. press the wrong button or the person shields up and that's it. You can't onslaught yeah, to shield the town. Yeah. So you have to do onslaughts in a particular way. Now, I can't, I've never been part of an onslaught, but um, certainly if your chief wants to know how to do an onslaught, get him to contact Bella because she is... Right. Oh, she gets like 30 million troops in her town. And she does double onslaughts. She does them from the Mead Hall and from the onslaught. So this hidden, yeah. hidden I'm soldiers. I'm lost in, already. Oh, it's amazing. It's <laughs> exactly, exactly. I noticed that like offer uh, and she asked, uh, join me guys, join me guys. But I did like, I, and it was late. I was preparing for, <laughs> uh, for hitting the sack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not, not a tile. <laughs> Yeah, no. and she when like, she puts the call out, generally, if she's calling for T ones, she'll say, and then yeah, go for it. Just say, can I join? Because it does cost to create an onslaught. Okay, she's spending gold to create the onslaught. So if she's calling for T ones, fine. If she's not, then she's really looking for the Gronks with full links gear. Okay, so it's something. Yeah, you have yeah. To she she mentioned about links gear. Yeah, full links, hero links gear. defense links gear and all that stuff. You and I aren't there yet, Marco. One day, we are far one day. away. <laughs> we, we don't have any any gear I, <laughs> at I, the moment. I've oh, got gear. Have... I've got oh, gear. Okay. But my you husband didn't... looked at it and went, "Your gear's shit." <laughs> oh come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, that's his direct words to his lovely wife. He looked at my uh, gear and went, your gear is shit. So I've stopped, <laughs> I've stopped building gear. <laughs> I've stopped now. I'm waiting till I've got legendary everything. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Oscar. Oh, I'm back again. You're back. <laughs> my, Mike is back again. Awesome. I'm, yeah, okay. Did you have to go and reset it on, on Zoms? Yeah, this is this is my my resource when I yeah, it's weird. lose my voice. <laughs> Pop over to Zom. <laughs> yeah, good for Zom. Yeah, I don't again. I don't know why. Honestly, if this is happening again and again, do let Discord developers know because it might just yeah. be something they can tell you. Oh, you need to do this. They're really good. 
So don't be frightened to contact them. I, I can't really help beyond saying, reset it at Zom's, come back here. I don't know if it's because there's more people in here and therefore you need to go to an empty one and it makes that connection and when you come back the connection's still there maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I do know that server hopping too much isn't a good idea um, but uh, it can help if you just do it the once just to get it to work. Okay Amatsu have a lovely weekend. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Let me know how the magazine goes. Will do. Take awesome. care everyone. Bye. 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 In my pleasure. <laughs> okay, and I'll leave you all too. So I hope everybody's happy. And uh, as you've got no more questions, I'm going to go. Have a nice oh, but, weekend. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, because I suppose that you will uh, definitely not suppose, I'm sure, that you will better explain. Ali asked for the, I can't see the uh, this our kingdom, but uh, I wrote that uh, uh, he should go to kingdom icon and there he could find our okay kingdom. okay what mm -hmm. what you do um you go to the kingdoms it's like a little banner okay and then you'll find kingdoms and you'll find a list of all the kingdoms and you're looking for Frathaven, but the best thing is to have the number of the kingdom as well okay so um very quickly. If I crash, we will blame Marco. Okay. Uh, 381 is to, to increase the procedure. <laughs> to speed it up, you mean? To speed it up, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, you're, you'll find us under 381, Frathaven. Um, and as I say, there's lots of videos out there that will tell you how to move kingdom. It's very easy. You go out of the town into your kingdom. Then you find on the left hand side, there's a button that says kingdoms. Click on it and you'll see all the kingdoms spread out in front of you. And then your mission will be to find number 381 for Artarvan. Click on it. You can look before you jump. Find a place you want to be. Click on the land and it will ask you to apply the novice relocation. Once you have applied it, even if you're in the wrong kingdom, you'll never get it back. So do be careful. OK. But it's all in the it's all in the how to play uh, and um, the support. So if you go to support, there's lots and lots of advice there. OK, mm -hmm. about banks and buildings and clans and kingdoms. <laughs> and uh, yeah, how to relocate to another kingdom is on the right hand side. OK. Have you got it, Ali? Ali, is it? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so you'll find lots of information there. And then once you've gone through the information, if you still have questions, let us know. But do be careful before you move kingdom. Make sure you're in the right one if you want to join us. If you want to fight us... <laughs> oh, come on. Go to another... Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. We are so strong. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to fight for? us, I'm for fighting, right? Exactly. If I'm wrong, <laughs> oh yeah, it's about right? fighting. It's it's Vikings. Yeah. <laughs> they're not they're not they're not um, breeding kittens. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But the thing in our kingdom is we have a very tenuous kingdom peace, which makes it not a bad place to be. But once you're beyond level five, then mm -hmm. you are best. Don't go to level six until you found yourself a clan. Okay. Level five of palace, palace. Yeah, your palace level five, not level five here. <laughs> your palace. No, no. Don't go in <laughs> saying I'm level twenty-one. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> level five of your palace. Stay there, consolidate, mm -hmm. learn the game, uh, and mm -hmm. then when you're ready, find a clan to join, and the clan mm -hmm. will then look after you and they'll support you and they'll help you grow. And the nice thing about it is you can find your own language. You can find lots of English language. Zom's in a Spanish language clan because she's learning Spanish as well. Um, and it forces you to communicate and it gives you a common 
ground to communicate about. Okay, when you're talking to other clan members, you're talking about the game, you're talking about resources, you're asking questions, you're asking for resources, you're offering resources. So you have mm -hmm. this, you know, it takes you beyond what's the weather like? <laughs> what mm -hmm. did you have for tea? That kind of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, lots of fighting in Vikings then. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so if that answers your questions, I will now go. <laughs> Take care. I better go, actually. I've got to walk the dog. So bye. Thank you for coming. Take care. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Don't forget to log off and disconnect, okay? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm stuck with you. <laughs> no, it was exhausting. <laughs> uh, uh, in the college I work in the lab, uh, last week uh, they clean all the lab. Uh, we have to get out everything and we um, and, um, how can I say it um, we uh, try to make it better for because there's uh, uh, some people outside from the college they come to see our college and uh, our lab, it, it was uh, very, very tired work. Okay, it was very tiring. I was tired. So, um, okay, sorry, I'd, I'd muted my mic uh, on the uh, stream, so probably everybody yeah, just I... got you to last night. I'm hoping Aladdin will actually come to today's session because when I switched my computer on before the Kitely session or when I checked it before the Kitely session it said my CPU was at 100% usage <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, I was, and I was looking at everything that was open and nothing accounted for that so I don't know what was going on It was I think it was Skype personally but I blame everything on Skype at the moment but yeah so uh, so when you say you're tired, I'm tired too. I've spent the week fixing computer problems the whole week. Joomla problems, CPU problems, logging in problems, problems for other people that aren't my problem really. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to the weekend. And what about um, Aruba? Can you speak? I can see your mic is unmuted, but I can't hear you at the moment. No, oh, don't no, don't apologise. If we can't hear you, we can't hear you. That's that's life. Uh, what about Tim? Tim, can we hear you? No. 
Oscar's here! Oscar, save me! <laughs> Oscar, have you got mic? Is your mic working? Please say it is. Oh no! It's one of those days. Oscar, Oscar! <laughs> okay, don't forget what we did last time. Go to another server. Yep, that's what always happens. It's your microphone settings. I don't know what you do. Uh, but go to another server. Go to Zom server. Test your mic in another mic room. And then come back. No, it's a 222, Oscar. Try on another server. Like last time. And if you've been using Skype in the meantime, I'll bet you it's Skype. <laughs> I'll bet you anything it's Skype. Okay. Talking, not I'm me. I'm tired this second. <laughs> I think I'm tired too, but... So you had... Were they VIPs that were visiting? Were these people you were trying to tidy up for? Were they very important people? So, were these people VIPs? The ones you were tidying up for, Sarah, were they VIPs? Do you know what VIP means? Yeah, uh, it's uh, like a uh, special people. Yeah, very important <laughs> person is a VIP, mm. or of course, plural, very important people. So why why were you tidying up for them? Why were you trying to make things look good? Had they got money? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not just for money. It's uh, because uh, it's our place. We have to make it look uh, good. Yeah, yeah but you, ma you made it sound like you'd done it because they were coming, not because you felt it needed doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we are working every day and uh, we leave uh, everything uh, mess. And uh, on uh, Tuesday we have, uh, because here it's uh, Friday, it's weekend. Mm -hmm. Yesterday it was the last day for working and we have to clean everything uh, uh, our supervisor will come to see our lab in the night and it was like <laughs> I have to finish <laughs> this is my last day to finish my work <laughs> in the night she will come to see our lab it's okay or not okay okay yeah. well I, I'll admit if I knew you were coming to visit me I'd tidy my desk <laughs> <laughs> My desk is a, is a bit of a mess today. I had huge, in fact, today's Kitely session had to be semi-cancelled. We ended up just doing a chit-chat session in Kitely because I could not log in. Um, not because of my desk being messy, but I think because I'd forgotten to log off my computer. Wake, wake it up. <laughs> Wakes on up. In fact... Earlier today, I sent Zom a message to at everyone because I thought I was in this server. We were testing something for Monique in Kitely. We think we've got it working for her. And uh, so I tested this at everyone and I didn't realize I was actually in Zom's um, direct messaging Zom. So she's got this really weird message from me, followed by uh, ignore me. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyhow, I hope um, I hope Oscar gets his mic working. Uh, you have okay. You have to open a voice channel there, then come back here. Okay, okay. So two 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 means we can't hear you. One, one, one means we can hear you. And if somebody types two, one, two, one, it means uh, you're breaking up. So your voice 
is breaking. Okay. Hello. 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 Oh. Hey. Woo well done. Oh, thank you. It works. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what. I it don't is. know why either. Nope. That's but it's extreme. a miracle. It's a little modern day miracle. <laughs> uh. So you go there, say something, <laughs> and then go, come back, and it is work. It is working. <laughs> yeah, it it does something. It's something to do. Have you been on Skype today? Not 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 no, today. No, okay. Because sometimes I noticed Skype does this to me, but it can't be kindly. Um, it can't be kindly because otherwise it would affect me too. So it's something. There's another program on your computer probably that's taking over your microphone in fact in your mic settings on your hardware um, let me just see if I can get that opened up okay I'll put it on to screen share so if you want to you can have a look in your mic settings under properties you can get advanced and you'll find there's something called allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. I have it ticked. Okay. Okay. And that means that the the app that you're in will have priority uh, to yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, to use it. Okay. Um, uh, I also yeah. disable everything else, like sound effects disabled, noise suppression, acoustic, all of that stuff I have disabled. Um, my levels are quite high, of course, and I make sure that uh, it's set up as my microphone, of course, use this device, enable. I also make sure that other things are kind of switched off, because I find the, the fewer things I have open, yeah. <laughs> the better. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you, if you enable, allow this... Uh, device allow applications to take over this device you might find that that helps and if you've already got it ticked untick it and see if that helps <laughs> yeah it's the hacking guide to getting things fixed on your computer click that see if it works okay click that see if that works <laughs> that didn't work yeah. okay click something else <laughs> but it's good maybe it will work for Aruba as well Aruba are you a member of another server on Discord? Try going there and opening a voice channel and then come back here and see if that also wakes up your computer. Hi, Marco. Hello, hello. Have you got voice? Say yes. Hello, hello. Awesome. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Thank goodness. I've had such a Hi, day. Marco. I've had Hi, such everybody. a week with computers. It's really nice when it just works. <laughs> Good stuff. So, Oscar, were you able to sleep last night after the reading session? <laughs> or did you have nightmares? No? Yep. Were you okay last night after the reading session? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you I, I'm not a squeamish person. No, good, good, good. Guys, I sadly I can't um open up the the video from last night, but we ended up reading a very gruesome piece of text, uh which was quite yeah so like the sort of thing you don't want to go to bed and suddenly get a runny